who asked, where do you stand on a federal abortion ban? Senator Young uh, saying that currently he does not support a, a nationwide federal ban. Conversely, do you think there should be any limits on abortion, and do you support the president's efforts to try and codify Roe v. Wade into law? I want to point out that Roe versus Wade did have limitations, limitations that worked for 50 years before it was upended with the U.S. Supreme Court. So I do support President Biden's uh, attempt to try to codify Roe versus Wade. If I'm elected to represent the state of Indiana in the U.S. Senate, that's going to be one of my highest priorities is to help bring back the, the protections that Hoosier women had to be able to perform this procedure without interference with, from politicians. How motivating an issue do you think that will be for voters this fall? A lot of recent polls have, have shown that inflation is still the top issue for a lot of voters this year. I, I, I hope that's not the case. I hope that when you lose right permanently that that would be more important than inflation, which is a temporary problem, but it, it is temporary. It's not a permanent inflation problem we're having, whereas Hoosier women are never going to have the, the rights that they had just a couple months ago because of the passage of SB1. President Biden said this week that, that it would be the first bill that he would have Congress take up if Democrats pick up seats in the midterms to codify uh, Roe v. Wade, but it's, it's a bit more complicated.